Hello everyone, Purple Link 33 making a triumphant return to the YouTube ranks because it has been a very, very long time. And a lot has happened in that very long, long time. And I return with Super Metroid and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past in a combo randomizer. How's everyone doing? Hope you are all well today. Uh, we are playing a uh, combo randomizer. Um, this is a, this is two games in one, basically. There are 316 items between all, between both games. Four entry points between the two games. Uh, you'll see those in just a brief moment. As per a usual, you know, the, the usual, uh, standard for any, uh, rando run. You have the tracker up in the left hand side of the screen. And that is most definitely not Samus. That is also definitely the B button. I am all about that B button life, apparently. I just want to get these set up here. So we got some things, uh, some some good parameters set up here. Um, one of the parameters I have is that the uh, morph ball is randomized as well as the first sword. I already did this. I want to go down here and get Moonwalk on. And, yeah, uh, we're just going to get started. Here we go. And we have a squid kit. You know, that doesn't look that great. Ah, uh, that looks better. So, right away in Super Metroid, there are only two items you can get. Um, actually, really only one item we can get, and it's just the Morph Ball pickup. Um, the reason for that is that I have also randomized keys, which does add, well, if you look here at the map, there's a B there, there's a 1 there, you can see these random numbers that normally are not there. Uh, those are special keys that are required to enter each area. Uh, Criteria, Brinstar, Upper Norfair, Meridia, Wreckship, and Lower Norfair. That's that, uh, we see C, R, B, R, U, N, etc. Um... I can use those to go through to the different areas, but we're just gonna go straight into A Link to the Past via this map. Usually it's a map room, actually. Uh, this map, I meant this door. And hey, look, another squid kid. Ow. That's actually not what I wanted. So there's a couple things you can do here. Um, actually, quite a bit. There's a missile on the island. That's actually fantastic. I'm not really gonna worry about that too much. I'm gonna try to kill what I can and get whatever items I can. Um, Zelda has quite a few more things that I can do right away in what we refer to as Sphere Zero. There's only one Sphere Zero's check in, uh, in Super Metroid, and that is the Morph Ball, uh, in Key Sanity. Orb. That opened up one more item. <laughs> um, but an early Morph Ball, nonetheless, this might be a very Super Metroid heavy run. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So, uh, yeah, right now we're just doing the early, early checks. Um, of course, you saw me do Link to the Past quite a long time ago. It was actually back in 2018, uh, the end of 20, or was it 17 even? That was 17. That was 2017. It has been nearly five years since I ran this game uh, on here, and now I'm doing it really messed up. I'm going to go say hi to Uncle. Did I forget to do the tree pull? I think I did. Uh, that's flippers. And flippers makes me happy. Flippers makes me very happy. Swimming is going to be a thing. That's a uh, piece of heart. And we're going to go ahead and save and quit. Because not much else we can do over here. The instant warp over to Sanctuary. Uh, they do take out the... Single arrow check, apparently. They take out the um, the Zelda title screen. You don't have to sit through that every time now. Thankfully. Oh, boy. So, yeah, they finally added Key Sanity to this uh, earlier, like, late last year, I think it was? In 2021, I think? I think? I'm, I'm not sure. I did a stream about it at some point. Because, like, oh my god, Key Sanity, I love this. Yeah, I was, I've been actually, like, looking at some of my old runs, like, uh, Ocarina of Time, and I'll probably do another one of those, because... Oh, that's a good thing to find. Um, checking tree poles and, and bush crabs 
I did not want to do that to you, Bushcrab. I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, I do a lot more. I, I was like, oh my god, I'm not ready for Key Sanity. Yeah, I do a lot more than Key Sanity in Ocarina of Time now. It's kind of stupid, actually, what I do. <laughs> but they've also implemented Triforce Hunt, which I actually really enjoy Triforce Hunt in Ocarina of Time. Because that's just kind of an instant, okay, find the, find the last Triforce piece and it, that's game. Hope. Ow. I don't care. Hurt me, Daddy. Nope. Ah, uh, single dollars. Single dollars from the bush crab. That's oh great. X-ray scope. Well, that might help with a boss fight later on. Um, so this particular run is uh, it's fast Ganon, uh, which means that uh, once we can get into the dark world, we can fight Ganon immediately. Whether or not we can actually kill him is a whole other issue. Um, what we can do though is uh, we we won't need to do either Aghanim fight. We're not required to do either one. Um, well, I should rephrase. We are not required to do Aghanim two, the the one at the top of the uh, of Gan's tower. Uh, the one in uh, the castle that's still not completely eliminated. Uh, we did see there was an uh, an energy tank that was at the lumberjack ledge that is only opened uh, via defeating. Uh, Aghanim 1, and using the boots to go through that. Hello, Blind's House. There's a quick early check. Five items in here. Um, but yeah, Aghanim could still be our Dark World access. Meaning we would have the ability to go into the tower, to go all the way to the top of the tower, and then um, have a Moon Pearl on the other side. Um, Palace of Darkness, small key. That is another small key. That is for Ganon's tower. Ganon's tower is, uh, it's open with a random number of crystals. So once we have the correct items to go over there, which would, I believe, be a hammer. It'd be either a hook shot and uh, two strength upgrades. Or it's hammer and a mirror and two strength upgrades. Two strength upgrades required for either one in order to get up to um, Ganon's tower. Because then big black rocks be blocking both uh, portals over there. That's 20 bucks. Another quick few checks here in Kakariko. In a heart container. Good. Health is good. Health is very good. And what's in the back here? A red cane. That could prove to be a, a weapon. Weapons are good in this, in this particular situation. Um, right now we do not have one. We have no sword. The sword is somewhere. Uh, I'll check this guy. This guy sends me the missiles. I've learned a lot more about this game in the nearly five years since I played it on on uh, on YouTube. Like uh, how to make a chicken disappear. Yeet. Ah, oh, it didn't work. You can throw the you can glitch the chicken into the wall. That is a map. It is for Brinstar. So we'll be able to once you get into uh, Brinstar in Metroid. We can check the map over where Crate is, and it will tell us what uh, what we can pick up there. That's the usefulness of the map. That's about the only usefulness of the map. Compasses are completely removed from the game. They have been replaced by the keys. Uh, we've added, uh, let's see, that's 16 keys in Super Metroid that are normally not there. It also adds a nice, uh, a nice logic change to the game. Just check in there. It's missiles. Okay, so it's a couple of quick checks that require other items that I don't necessarily need to go do. I always do this because I feel like I need to. And I feel like I have to push on the, pull on the table a little bit. Yes, our inklings will change colors once we ch uh, add suits or mail. And I have a cat who wants attention. Missy, I'm recording. She doesn't care. She's going to jump right up. That is, a sm that is a key. I got 10 seconds. I can have this trash. And that is an uh, Norfair level 1. So Norfair is, is, is just upper Norfair. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save and quit. Hi, you. I have a 
Kitty. The cat's gonna make this incredibly hard for me to actually uh, do anything. Um, because I wanna focus on getting Sphere Zero. So now we're gonna try and do South Shore. That's gonna include the dam. Uh, we will check Agina uh, over in the desert, even though that's kind of out of our way. It does suck having to check it. And there goes the kitty. Um, that also include the dam, uh, Mini Moldorm Cave, and the Ice Rod. Uh, we can, from there, actually go to do our water checks uh, because we have flippers. Even though it's technically part of Sphere 1, I would think. Uh, each sphere is like uh, where... When we can uh, collect each item. Sphere zero are items you can collect immediately from the game from the start of the game. Sphere one requires one item, two, etc. Blah blah blah. Is that's my understanding of it? I'm not actually entirely sure what why they call what what. Different spheres of progression, I guess. That's money. You know, if you want to get me to 500 rupees game, that'd be fantastic. Then I can do all of my water checks and not have to worry about it ever again. That would be incredible. But yeah, I've been doing a lot more streaming as opposed to uh, being here on YouTube, streaming on Twitch. I do one stream a week on Wednesdays. This right now I do. I might do more later. Who knows? Things may change as the days go on. And in the, the old personal life, a lot, oh my god, a lot has changed. Um, Y'all saw back in 19, my... We lost my mom to cancer, which we expected, uh, missiles. But then earlier this year, um, in, uh, in March, beginning of March, al almost six months ago now, um, my dad passed away unexpectedly. It's been really weird. Um, I'm actually recording out of an... This is a brand new place I'm recording out of. Um, I've, been here, I've been here for a couple months now. Uh, actually in Madison this time. Yes, I have no problem saying I'm in Madison because that doesn't really narrow it down too much. But yeah, that's been kind of taken over my time, but I have a little more time to record, a little more time to myself, which is I, a good and a bad thing, I guess. You, sir. Oh, you, you better not. Don't you dare. Get up by that block, please. Go touch the block. Touch the butt. I dare you. He's gonna touch the butt. Touch the butt. Are you seriously not gonna touch that? I really hate you right now, game. I have to burn a bomb here. Watch, he, as I say, watch. He dodges that, too. That would piss me off. All right, five more items in here we can get. Bunch of supers. Got sw uh, swag net. Money. Key four. Palace of Darkness. That is uh, right now currently useless to me uh, because I have no method of getting into the dark world. Sad day. All right, so in this direction uh, that we were running, in we're going to run into Zelda's version of the Battle Crabs from Super Metroid, and they will t will hit you just as hard. Battle Crab Super Metroid will do 120 damage. Uh, in this game, it's two, it's two full hearts. Okay, please don't. Please, please don't kill me. I, I, I actually want to get this, this one item. That will finish up South Shore. We can move on. Here we go. Go ahead and check the Ice Rod Cave here. Another small key that is for Lower Norfair. Now you see the difference between Norfair and Lower Norfair on the screen. And now I'm going to do something that usually... So usually what I'll, what I'll do here is I'll go do a glitch called uh, Fake Flipper. 
But why fake flipper when you can real flipper? Um, probably because this is actually slower. <laughs> this is actually slower by a lot. No! Especially when that happens. So this is not what I want. Okay, if I do this, it'll have me going to the left. That's what I want. But yeah, usually there's a glitch where if you can try and get uh, into the water and do a f uh, frame perfect uh, screen transition, um, I think it's a two frame animation of, of the splash. When you hit, if you can get a screen transition the moment you hit the water before the splash happens, because the splash is where the flipper check happens. The problem is it does send the game into a bit of a glitch state as we find out what the hobo has. Give me your goods. That's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. So, we have glove. Love water physics in this game. Uh, but yeah, if I were to fake flipper, and then, um... And then get hit by anything in the water. In game, it uh, in the normal game, it actually would freeze you, and you would hard lock the game. You have you would have to reset the console, maybe even power it off. Um, instead, uh, this game the randomizer just kills you, dead. You could have twenty hearts, which if you have twenty hearts, and oh boy, that's a good item. Uh, if you have twenty hearts and no flippers, oh man. That's rough. But you could have 20 hearts be hit by that errant uh, fireball, and, uh, well, you dead. It takes all 20 hearts in one go. That is a map of some kind. I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit. I don't have the money for uh, King Zora, so we're gonna say no. Um, let's go in here. We can't really do much else. There's only the two items right now in uh, Super Metroid that we can do. So we're gonna head east over to say hi to the Sassy Pants. I did not uh, consult Dine to get my, uh, I did not consult Dine to get my Sahasrila name for the day. So you get the very unimaginative Sassy Pants. Down here, and we're gonna find out. He's gonna tell us where the green pennant is just by saying hi. You're in the green pennant in Meridia. So that tells me that Fantoon, not Fan, not Fantoon, Dragon, right? This is Dragon, this one's Dragon, that one's Dragon. Dragon has the green pendant. And to be quite honest, that's fantastic. That's a lot of work. Small key for Ganon's Tower again. Five bombs. Ice rod. Nice rod. Okay, so we have a couple magic items. Um, really no attack items, so we're still swordless, essentially. So we'll be taking some damage up here. That's fine. I can tank a little bit. I can tank some shots. That sort of thing is required sometimes. So key difference between the two games in Link to the Past, you can use uh, deaths to warp back to the beginning of dungeons. In Super Metroid, uh, death is bad. Uh, death will wipe out progress, and that is no good. I've had a death wipe out a good 45 minutes to an hour of progress. And that's rough. Grab this. Power bombs. That will actually open up Super Metroid by a lot. Um, it opens up actually a lot of, uh, pretty much all of Brinstar. Except areas that we would need, excuse me, keys to get to. So that's good news. So that looks like we're going to be doing a save and then a reset. Reset will always bring you back to the first, uh, to the title screen of Super Metroid. That is the default uh, for the game, for this uh, combo. 
So, this is fantastic news. A lot of items open up. Hot damn, we got a flute! Um, flute will actually change uh, some things. Um, I will probably go do that. Like, I'll probably activate the flute before I uh, cut the video and head back to SM. One more item that we can get logically in here. There is an item we can get if we know how to dark walk. I don't have a whole lot of resources to do that. So unless a sword... If a sword's in the next chest, I'm stupid. If a sword is in the next chest, um, then yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ooh, magic. Thank you. Eh. Yes, there is a way to make this go a little faster if you know some frame-perfect inputs. I do not. Oh yeah, that's that's a sword right there. I'm gonna go with no. Uh, to the sanctuary we go. We're gonna go ahead and you and trigger our flute. Y'all can see just how I like playing the game, random as fuck. <laughs> so anyway, we got uh, we got some good items uh, to start uh, here in Hyrule. Uh, we've opened up Super Metroid a little bit. Uh, we do have uh, Titan's Mint. We have Flippers. Red Cane. We have a Flute. It's going to enable some fast travel for us. A couple magic items and nothing much else. Here we are, Salute the Duck. Quack, quack. And next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, or sorry, Super Metroid Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Combo Randomizer, we're going to head into Metroid, and uh, we're going to see how we can start there. So, um, yeah. Uh, see y'all next time.